Thank you. Would you? I'm assuming you want me to look at the camera. No, you can look at it. You can look at it, whoever. Okay. <laughs> Just don't even think about it. This is it. Okay. Yeah. The less thinking, the better. Okay. Um, like, That's it. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. Can you talk about how you feel your style reflects who you are? I think my style says that I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with myself and with my surroundings. A lot of the way I present myself aesthetically has a lot to do with other people, things, and places that I've come in contact with. So it's more of an expression of my experience. My personal style is a magnifier of my schizophrenic daily behavior. My style says about me that I don't give a damn what anybody else thinks. I don't consciously express myself. I just am. I always had a thing with people wanting to touch my hair. And I knew that my process of locking my hair was something that was really sacred to me and I didn't want people having access to it. So wrapping my hair was like a process for me. I feel confident in what I wear and I don't leave the house unless I feel confident in what I wear. I don't like to feel immobile or, or that like I can't mm -hmm. do something. Can you talk about some of the presumptions that you feel that people have of you based on your style? People think they have it all figured out because of what we were taught from growing up, essentially. Like, what you look like is how you're perceived. And we learn stereotypes like pretty, ugly, you know, masculine, feminine. So I like to just be a different stereotype every single day so that I can kind of have a little joke and some objectivity within society as opposed to being a part of it. Perfect. Um, your shirt? Remove it. Remove it. <laughs> When do you feel the most vulnerable? <laughs> I clearly don't feel vulnerable very often. Um, I think a lot of things make me feel strong and vulnerable simultaneously. It's the contradiction of human existence. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like 10 seconds for naked. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk about what is beautiful to you? Vulnerability is really beautiful. The older I get, the more I feel comfortable with that, and the more I feel more beautiful, I feel less like I am um, hiding. People's opinion of you will always change because there's always a changing mold of what we're supposed to look like. How, how would you respond to the quote, um, in your body is a good place to be? It's the only place to be, so you gotta make it good. You're stuck with your body, and so you better be very, very happy in it because um, there's no escaping it. Nothing will ever look like this again, or like you again. It's kind of like art. The best forms of art come and go, and you will never experience them again.